All right, guys. So we're talking over here with Mountain RN over at the Prepper Community Booth, and we're, I was talking about my first aid module, and we're talking about uh, gauze, surgical sponges, uh, burn gels, and what, what to possibly replace to lighten the load, and that will work better. And so, uh, let's see. So we we're talking about this now. Can you ex explain this stuff again? This was awesome. Yeah. So it's called Aquacell, and basically what it is, it's um, it's a special gel yeah. that. Um, so when you heal a wound, you don't want it too too wet or too dry. You yeah. want it like the right suit. And what this does, as you can see over there, is so this is a, it's normal, a dry one. That's how it comes. And you just and added it, water on there. It had water just to show you. But uh, basically, how it goes is that this gel um, creates that perfect suit, yeah. and it works a little bit like a Swiffer, as the bacteria will kind of go up. And yeah. And the beauty with those dressings versus like the gauze and everything is that you can leave them long. The longer mm -hmm. they stay, better it is. So uh, usually three to seven days you yeah. can have. So that means uh, a dressing like uh, like those two together. So if um, I cut my so if I cut my arm, had a big yeah. gash on it. So basically, I could put this put, some of that put on this there, on the top, wet it, and wait, uh, and we use the. Yeah, you would uh, syringe, it would, you would irrigate your, your, your wound. My wound. I could put, put on that the on, on it, depending on how much it bleeds and stuff. If it yeah. bleeds too much, then you would use like a, you could use like a, a sponge yeah. uh, that I have like, uh, I have a little one over here. So and if I, because yeah, if I use this, this is going to peel when I need to replace it all the time. Yeah, and, and so and, and it's going to like, reduce the space in my kit as well, right? Yeah, because uh, the problem with gauze is that you need so much. Yeah. Um, because like one dressings, so like one dressing, one two by twos of this, this one is about this size. Yeah. Uh, for the same amount of wound size yeah. uh, for gauze, you would need about, because you need about four or five gauze for, depending on how much fluid is coming yeah. out, per, per change of dressing. And depending on how much, again, stuff is coming out of your wounds, you can need like two or three times a day. So yeah. Four or five times. <laughs> that's a lot of space. Days, that's a lot of space. And you need to carry all this in your yeah. kit. So like I was showing him, like the kit that he has. Yeah. <laughs> See how big it is. I need to get the smaller. And about the same size that I have in here is about for one week of wound care. Yeah. So an old type of wound, like burns and stuff and uh, blisters, uh, small and, and you were And stuff. you were talking about the burn, burn gel sucks, use honey. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> basically. If you're gonna so go I need, and, and uh, either you're not the first person to tell me that, so I need to get rid of my burn gel just after yeah, honey. Yeah, the problem with burn gel is that if there's a little hole or if it opens, and especially if yeah. you carry it like in the first aid kit, and yeah, it happens and to me before, you get to use it and it it dries up. And honey's always honey. Honey is always good and stuff, and so if you're gonna use honey or like when I carry me for my gel, it's a little bit more expensive, but it's the uh, Aquacell AG, so it's yeah. the same stuffed in this yeah. but it has silver in it yeah and when you go to the hospital the dressing they put on is silver and silver is like it does wonders <laughs> yeah it kills like pretty much every bacteria there's no bacteria there's no resistance to this uh, like versus antibiotics and stuff i'll put links to all of these in the description and and you have a bunch of videos already on that goes into much more detail on this so. yeah well i call I, them the 21st century dressing yeah. it's pretty much what i've been trying to uh sell <laughs> yeah <laughs> now, describe this because we were talking a little bit about uh, maxi pads on including those you're saying don't put the maxi pads directly on a wound. Put on this yeah, first, well, and then the maxi. Yeah, it's, it's, that, it's uh, like a gauze, and yeah. it absorbs a lot of blood. But what you want to do you is stop, stop a, uh, yeah. a bleeding, and a bleeding is stopped by direct pressure. Mm -hmm. But if it absorbs a lot of blood, then the, the clot cannot be formed, and then you cannot stop bleeding. Um, and the problem with uh, with a um, a pad yeah. is that it will stuck again to your wound, and by drying, and then when you take it off, you'll take it off. And again, that concept of not too wet, not too dry. The yeah. problem with, with gauze is that it will get dry. Yeah. There's no way that you can keep humidity in it. And if you yeah. keep humidity in there, actually you increase your risk of in, in bacteria because this is like cotton. So it's like a cotton t-shirt basically, but in, in a different form. So, so so if you have a wound here, you're just gonna put this on and let it, let, yeah, let like it air get into uh, it and maybe put the pad on there. Yeah, maybe. if I would run out of, of my dressings and stuff, and this is what my backup is, is that I can put something like this and then put the stuff yeah. But then and then you were the talking about putting stuck. maybe something like this on top of it. Then. Yeah, well this is like, uh, it's like, basically when I dress a wound, I dress it just like I dress in the outdoors. So you have yeah. like a base a base layer, you have an exterior layers, you have something to protect from water. It depends yeah. again, uh, 
what, what's what's coming out. And you're talking it was like it's like Gore-Tex for jackets. Yeah. Were, so basically, this is like Gore-Tex because water gets it, out like, but not the in. Water, yeah. The water, transpiration will go out. Yeah. But the uh, water won't be. So I can be so in the if shower I with put that. something like this. I can go uh, if I have something like this. I can go and take a shower with this. Yeah. When I uh, burn myself over here, um, that's what I, I yeah, put it. Yeah. So th there, that's. That's the wound right there, and the, yeah, that's the, the method stuff. that you used on there. Yeah, uh, what I use on this was the uh, the big, actually the this this one yeah, the over silver. a month. Yeah. So th this is this is the difference. So how much, how much does this cost though? Like if I were to buy that? Yeah. So it depends on the place, but I think it's about thirty or forty bucks. Yeah. For but you could cut it up and use it as needed. Yeah. So what I did is I used this over a month. So one dressing like this for a yeah. month. This would even last me for one dressing change. Yeah, you, saying, you could blow your nose with this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically, it's good to blow your nose or yeah, wipe your you know, head, <laughs> take the sweats out. Yeah. But so you see already the size. And this is vacuum sealed too. This yeah, is, vacuum uh, seals and everything. And this would even still, change me one. Yeah. And this is was good for one month. And for getting the same amount of months. I so, don't I, know, so for one month you could use this and combine it with some of the other yeah, stuff and you're good to go. Yeah, depending on the size and, of the and, wound. Obviously, yeah. if my wound is that if size, I have a big then gash on there. That's yeah, the, then it's different. But yeah. again, bigger the wounds, um, maybe you'll use different techniques. Yeah. So. Uh, but that's why I carry those dressing because yeah, but for awesome. a wound that was that much that yeah. can burn wounds dra uh, drain a lot, um, I've used this over a month. And yeah. That's all I needed. That's awesome. So this really helps out for me, someone like me that has too big of a med kit right now. I need to lessen the load and I want it to work better. And it seems just like the way to go on it. It's a little more expensive though. It's the only yeah, downfall. But but. It, it's more expensive. So get rid of this, yeah. get rid of the burn gel, <laughs> get rid of the gauze, get rid of less maxi pads and go with these, spend the money, get the good stuff. Yeah. And it's gonna I work better. I calculated it quickly, like maybe like for a kit that about that size or that I would need like in yeah. uh, bug out bag uh, or 72 hours or one yeah. week it's about 100 bucks 130 yeah. bucks but you I got mean, how much way is your, much capacity how much is your medical health uh, worth to you so yeah and <laughs> i mean like for example i was yeah. able to deal with my burn at home and everything because you're not sure and the other thing too is that let's say i would have to survive a long time yeah. two months and everything now you have to discard those. Yeah. So now you have a big bag of something and you have to dispose of them. Like, yeah. and uh, raccoons and all animals and stuff would be attracted by the smell of, of body fluid liquids and yeah. flies and everything. So even for long-term situation versus I take this, throw it in that garbage versus a bag of this, yeah. of that stuff. So. <laughs> we got some uh, nice background over here. <laughs> we got photo bomb, <laughs> video bomb. <laughs> Yeah, this stuff was awesome. Like, what, yeah, he put the water. Can we put the water on really quick on it? Sure. Yeah, check this out, guys. I mean, it's kind of like uh, the gauze that I have, but it's a little, little wetter. I don't know if you can see that. It, it's and it turns into like a, yeah, it turns into a gel. It's really, really cool. And it folds to like, all the little holes that you have in your room. Yeah. It takes every little shape of it. Now you were talking about that you were in a medical training class yeah, and they did it on an orange. Yeah, room conference and they had a um, piece of uh, orange on a microscope. And you could see every little fold of the orange. This thing was taking everything. That's and this awesome. is why it's very expensive because right now Aquacel and Mepitel are the only two people that does that stuff. Yeah. So we pay for this. but. In the next, maybe, I don't know how long is their patent, but when the patent finish, yeah. uh, maybe the price of those things will finish, but again. Well, let me, uh, yeah, so I'm gonna put links to all this in the description box below, all the information that we talked about, and also the links to where we could buy these at. Uh, so if you guys wanna lighten your medical kits, like what I need to, and it has stuff that actually works, and works well, then this yeah. thing's like the route to go. This is awesome. All right, that's a quick little medical tip by <laughs> Mountain RN over here at Bob Watch 2015. And we had the the, the man dressed. Uh, <laughs> <And> the, <laughs> the, the, I'm not sure where queen. I'm not sure where the queen went, but. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool, guys. Leave your comments below in the comment section. See you guys.